Okay, the unit circle is a big concept when you're dealing with trigonometry. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of develop this unit circle so you can kind of remember it a little bit and kind of maybe look at how we can memorize it a little bit. So the thing that you want to do is draw a circle. Now if you have a compass, you might want to kind of help you out with this. So uh, draw a circle, it doesn't have to be you know, 100%. But at least it has something to kind of look at the circle and you have the center and you have your circle around. Okay, the next thing you have to understand is that this is on a X and Y axis. So if you can try, just like that, and make sure that you make sure you have the X and the Y. Okay. Now there's your unit circle, and why is it called a unit circle? Because it think of it as a circle with a with one of a radius. So this has a circle. So this is really a circle with with radius of one. So a circle with radius of one. Now. Why do we want that? Because that will help us develop our circle here. Because remember, if this is if this is one, this is also going to be one. This is going to still be one, and this is going to still be one. So think of it you know, just as a circle with radius one. Okay, so here we go. Well, what we're going to do now, we're going to kind of play this kind of a game here. So we're going to say that this is called zero, uh, zero degrees, I guess you can call it, zero degrees. Well, if you go all, all the way around the circle, aren't you going to go 360 degrees? Okay, if you go all the way around, you go 360 degrees. Now, if you go half the distance, that is 180 degrees. Okay, well, if you go a quarter of that, a quarter of that, you know, that's 90 degrees. Now, if you go a quarter, half, and now three quarters, three quarters is going to be what we call 270 degrees. And then if you keep on going back, you're going to go into 360. Now, that is fantastic. We did it. But we have to kind of look at this here a little bit. So first off, um, let's, look, let's look at this. If we hit here, hit here, and hit here, kind of take this first quadrant and split this up into one, two, three, four, four pieces of pi. Why am I trying to do this? Is because we're trying to get this group here to get the rest of these. Now, if you want to, if this is divided up by uh, one, two, three, four, you can actually just kind of repeat the same thing. So if you go the whole, the, this just this half here, that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that should be eight slices of pizza. Now, what I'm trying to show you is that these, this is zero degrees. Well, if you go up 30 degrees, well, obviously that's 30 degrees. And if you go another 15, that is a 45 degrees. And if you go another 15, that is going to be 60 degrees. So I am climbing uh, 30, 15, 15, and then 30. And that gives me to 90. Okay, let's just, uh, well, we can kind of keep going around. So if this is 90, to get to this next subject, we're going to get that to be 120. Then we're going to add another 15, and that's 135. And then you're going to do another 15 degrees, and then 30. So it's going to be 30, 15, 15, 30. Now you just kind of see a pattern going on with it. This is going to be 30, 15, 15, 30, 30, 15, 15, 30. Now I'm not going to go the whole way around yet, but I want to just kind of show you what we are trying to develop here. And 0 to 100, 108 degrees is half a circle. So let's just focus up in these quadrants first. Now, I want to kind of make sure that we are kind of looking at right here and here and here. And the reason is, is that because, remember, we're on a unit circle with a radius of 1. So this is from this is 
this is called zero, zero, right? That's the origin. Now, if you extend this to be one radius, isn't this point going to be one comma zero? Because you're on the x-axis, this point is, this is one comma zero. Now, if you go up here and go to this y-axis, this is still one. This point is going to be zero comma one. That point right there. If you keep on going, so over here, well, if this is one comma zero, but this is the origin, isn't this going to be still one? But you kind of think of it going, you're going negative one. So this spot right here will be negative one comma zero. And I guess we could do the bottom part right here. And if this is zero comma one, remember, you're going down here, you're going to go negative, you're going negative. This part right here is going to be uh, 0, negative 1. Now you have all your intersections, all your intersections. So I guess we could call these these, these uh, intersections. Okay, we have the intersections of the x and y axis. All right, awesome. What we're going to develop now is we are going to kind of just focus up here. What we're going to do is kind of look at our trig functions. So what if I said, okay, what if we had something like this? You know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. You know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And r right now is 1. Remember, r is a unit circle. It's called 1. So I'm hoping that you're seeing that if I put in a 1, a 1 for the r, I will get 2 pi. So that means the circumference of this whole circle is actually going to be 2 pi because one radius, one radius is the whole thing around is 2 pi. So let's do this, for example. If we start with, if we start with 0 and you're going all the way around, you're going around 2 pi. Well, what if we take zero and we go oh, just only half the ways? Well, what's, what's two pi divided by two? So what is two pi divided by two? You have pi. So this is going to actually be pi. So we have zero and we have pi. Well, what if we take this, what, what, if this was all pi, and what if we take half a pi? So what if we took pi? and divide it by 2. Well, up here, you're going to get pi over 2. So this is 0, pi over 2, and pi. Well, remember that this distance from here to here around is pi. Well, what if we go another pi, uh, what if we go another quarter? What if we go another quarter? Well, this is going to be 3 pi over 2. 3 pi. 3 pi over 2. So we have 0, pi over 2, pi, uh, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So remember, your circumference is the distance around a circle. Circumference circumference is the distance around the circle. Okay, not area. Don't don't get fooled with area. Area is inside. We're doing we're, we are running around the circle. So that's going to be 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. So that's the unit circle in uh, pi's. Well, we have some more additional features of this. So we are going to just kind of focus in this quadrant here for now. So let's do this. If I kind of go up here and let's say this from 0 to uh, pi over 2. And I split that into uh, these three sections. Okay, I want you to understand this. If you split this, if you take 0 to pi over 2 and split this into three sections, you're going to get 6 uh, pi over 6. You're going to get pi over 4. And you're going to get pi over 3. Now, if you take 0 to pi over 2 and split this into three sections, you're going to get pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. Think of it this way. You're kind of taking the whole thing. You're, you're take, maybe you're taking half this and you're splitting this into 
uh, sixes. Obviously, sixes. Sixes and stuff like that. All right, so this is kind of what you hit here. Well, that is awesome, but what about continuation? Remember, so we have pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2. Now we're going to kind of hit these. We know we're then we know we have pi here. Well, if this is in sixes, think of it this way. This one's also going to be six. This one's going to be four. This one's going to be three. Kind of th think of the pattern here. Kind of think of the pattern. You go six, four, three, two, three, four, six, pi. Now on the top, you're going to kind of take this and subtract one. So this is going to be two pi over three. Take this number here and subtract one. So you're going to minus one from the bottom. So you're going to take four and you're going to subtract that from the bottom and you get three pi over four. If you take one and subtract it from six, don't you get five pi over six? Or, yeah. Okay, so there's the first half of this. Now, I'm just going to focus on the first half because I want to kind of give you more of an expert opinion on this. Um, so here we go. Now we're going to look at some of the special right triangle parts of this. And this is the next part of that. We understand that they're all, we're going to start with, um, we're going to start with one here on top. Then we're going to go to two on top. And then we're going to go to three right here. Why am I doing that is because you're using those special right triangles. So that's one, two, three. Now you can think of it, the, you can think of these ways as you're always taking the square root of these numbers. But the square root of one is one. I'm just going to leave at the square root of one because the square because the square root of one, the square root of one is one. So that's going to be one, two, three. Now I'm going to kind of use the same pattern and go down. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to take the square root of these. The square root of one, the square root of one is one. I'm going to leave it that way. So we have one, two, three, then one, two, three. Now the denominator is always going to be two. So go ahead and go ahead and put two, 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 two. two. Uh, no square root. No square root for these. So the first quadrant, I should say, the first quadrant, 1, 2, 3, 4, is just going to be 30, 45, 60, pi 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, with 1 half, pi, uh, square root of 3 over 2, and these quadrants here. So as you kind of go through the unit circle, you're going to kind of look at this pattern and it's going to repeat, repeat, repeat. And I'm hoping that is making a little bit more sense into this. But I want you to kind of think about what the unit circle is offering. The unit circle is with a radius of 1. Is with a radius of 1. All right. Now, I want us to kind of get the rest of these. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to kind of do the same thing. I'm not going to make the circle 100%. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and draw one. So I'm not going to make it perfect here. Okay, so you have your unit circle. You have your dot. Goes like this. Goes like this. So there's your unit circle. Now, I'm not going to focus too much on those features. I'm just going to go ahead and just put them. And I'm kind of trying to get you to develop a pattern with this so you're not lost. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go 0 and I'm going to go 2 pi. Remember, we have these already, so 0 and 2 pi. And remember, this is 1 comma 0. This pod is going to be 0 comma 1. And this is pi over 2. Um, if you keep going around, remember that this is pi. This intersection is going to be negative 1 comma 0. Uh, go around here. This is going to be, what is it, um, 0, negative 1. And this is 3 pi over 2. And then back to 2 pi. So there's your part there that we went over before. Now let's kind of build in the um, parts here. So this, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And remember that these are 30, um, not 30, um, 30, 
45. So let's make this a 45 and make this 60. And remember that this is 90. Keep going. Remember, you're going to add another 30. So that's 120. You're going to add 15, which is 135, 150. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of keep going here. So if we add another 30, you should have 210. You should have 225. You should have 240. Add 30. If you add 30, you're just going to have one, oops, uh, two, 270. Add another 30, 15, and, and 15 again. Um, if you add that, you're going to get 300. You're going to get 315. You're going to get 330. And then you're going to get back to, obviously, 360 degrees. So now I went all the way around. So all around, I did some pi stuff, pi over six, radian mode, and I did some degrees. So remember, when you do the unit circle, you're gonna have both, the degrees and the radians. And we're gonna, we're gonna get to there. But just kind of let you know what we're trying to accomplish here. So you get all the way around, and you kind of see a pattern. You go 30, 15, 15, 30, boom, 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 all the way around. All right, here comes the next part of this. And this is kind of where it gets a little bit interesting. But remember, we are, we're taking pi, and we're dividing it by six pieces. So here we go. I'm gonna kind of put this in a different color for you so you can see this. This, this degree right here is another, so 30 degrees is another way of saying, okay, 30 degrees is another of way of saying that this is pi over six. 45 is another way of saying this is pi over four. 60 degrees is another way of saying pi over three. Now, that's just pi over 2. Think of it this way. You have one half. This is all pi. From here to there, that's pi. Half of that is 2 pi. Oh, sorry, pi over 2. Then you're going to kind of cut it down in another couple quarters here. Well, that is awesome. But let's keep going now. So we have pi over 2. To get to the next section is going to be pi over 2 pi over 3. The next section is going to be 3 pi over 4. Then the part is going to be 5 pi over 6. And then you just get pi. Now, I'm going, to re I'm going to write this as 6 pi over 6. Do you see why? The 6 is said, I get to go away. I'm just pi. All right, I'm going to keep going now. So it kind of, you almost see a little pattern here. The 210 is actually going to be... Um, over 6, and it's going to be 7 pi over over 6. This is still going to be over 4, and you're just going to have to uh, think of this and kind of go down here. So 5, you're going to go drop 1, you're going to go five, uh, 4 pi over 3. So how it's, look at how it says 6, 4, 3, 2, 2, 3, 4, 6, pi, uh, six, four, three. Do you see how it's always kind of having that same pattern in the denominator? Now I'm going to kind of keep going. This part right here is three pi over two. Well, let's keep going. Well, you know that this is two. You know that this is two. Obviously, there's going to be a three here. You're going to keep going. There's a four, and there's going to be a six. Okay, you kind of see the pattern. You kind of see what's going on. It's kind of cool how you, this you get to form this. Now you're going to kind of look at the top, and I know that this is kind of strange. Well, here's what I do. I usually just go ahead and say, okay, here's 3 pi. I'm going to add 2. What if I add 2? I get 5 pi over 3. What if I add 2? I'm going to have 5 pi, sorry, 7 pi over 4. What if I add, this one's a little bit different. Um, there's adding 2. This one, you're going to go 7, 8, 9, 10. You're going to add, uh, you're going to add 5. If you add 5, that's 11 pi over 6. And I know that's kind of weird. That's a big jump. How do I remember this part right here? I just I just kind of have this in my head. Um, some people might say, okay, to get these values, uh, maybe 5 times a week, I go to 7, 11. 5 times a week, I go to 7 and 11. I mean, that might be a, a kicker there that you might want to recall this. 
All right, so kind of think of that's what's going on. But if you think of it, this first part right here, you can get the rest of these. So six, five, uh, four, three, two, two, three, six, pi, um, seven, five, four. And you kind of just keep on going around. It's kind of interesting. Um, let's uh, go ahead now and apply what we call the special right triangles. And so I'm going to do that in another piece of paper. Okay. Okay. This time we're going to use the special right triangles. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw that circle again. And I'm going to kind of get our, our points here. Okay. So I'm going to go boom, boom, boom. And that's all I'm going to do right now. And here's why. If I put two parentheses, Okay, so three parentheses, I should say. One, two, three. These are, remember, these are coordinates. These are like coordinates. And these come from your 45, 45, 90, and your 30, 60, 90 degree triangles that we should kind of be an expert by now on. Well, to do this, you're always going to have a denominator of two. You're always going to have a denominator of two. Now here's kind of the pattern. By using these 45, 45, and 30, 60, 90 degree triangles, these special right triangles, you're gonna to have to kind of think of the Sokotoa. Remember that, remember that thing called the Soka, the Ka the Koa Toa, the sine, cosine, and tangent. Well, you get to kind of use this now, and it's to our advantage. So here we go. The first one, here's kind of the pattern that you might want to look at where we do this. This is one, this is two, this is three. One, two, three. Okay, there's your pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now take the take the square root and put the square root of our pretty much all of them, except one, because one is just the square root of one. Remember, the square root of one is just one. We don't really need it with one, but the rest of them are fine. Well, there's your first three. And if you want to, I guess we could, you know, put this one in, but it doesn't really have anything. It's 90 degrees. We know that. We know it's 90 degrees. It's going to be something else. It's going to be um, 0, 1. This is going to be 1, 0. All right. Now we're going to take this and we're going to do the same thing here, here, and here. It's almost like a pattern. You can almost see it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and put these parentheses here. Okay. Um, we are still going to divide by two. We're going to still divide by two. But this time, we're going to kind of go like this again. We're going to kind of start with one, two, three. And we're going to go one, two, three. However, we are in this quadrant. Remember, this is plus plus. This is plus plus. This quadrant, remember, is negative comma positive. We go over in positive. So what do you have to make negative? You're going to have to make negative these first, these first parts because these are all negative. Remember, you always graph negative one up four. Well, remember these first part, these first coordinates, f coordinates have to be x um, negatives. And I hope that you're kind of seeing this when you plug. When these are just points, so remember this is just your x, this is your y. These are just these points when we graph them, but they're special right triangle parts of the Sokotoa. All right. Well, think of it this way. That's kind of, you're almost matching these. You can almost just kind of go straight over, kind of just go straight over, kind of just go straight over. You get to see how they match. That is awesome. But let's repeat this. So what if we kind of repeat these down here below and keep going? You know, okay, kind of repeat. Well, think of it this way. You're kind of doing this. You're kind of shooting across. You're kind of shooting across, shooting across. It's going to be very, it's going to be the same, but you have to be careful with the negatives. 
So on this one, you can almost think of this pattern here. You can go three, two, one, uh, three, two, one. So we're gonna take the square root of all these. And remember, these are all divided by two. These are all divided by two. But when you are graphing in this quadrant here, when you're graphing these, these quadrants here, aren't these going to be negative and negative? Isn't this quadrant negative and negative? So you're gonna to have to put negatives in all these values, in all these values. All right, keep going. So last one, boom, boom, boom. And this is kind of in the way, but that's okay. We can get you out of this here. Um, if you don't mind, I'm gonna put this down here. I guess I am just gonna to have to modify this a little bit, but that's okay. They're still gonna be divided by two. They're still gonna be dividing by two. Okay, here's the kind of the pattern with this one. This one went three, two, one. We're gonna go one, two, three. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. Remember, you're gonna put the square root over just the top. All right, in this quadrant, in this quadrant, isn't it going to be addition and then negative? You're gonna go addition and then negative? Well, what one has to be negative for this one? It's gonna be the, the y's, right? So the y's. All right. So kind of there you go for what is going on with this. And to kind of make sure that this makes sense and clarify this all, let me just show you kind of the, you know, a unit circle that you can actually get online a little bit, but I do want you to kind of look at it. And this is just kind of what I researched for you to kind of give you kind of a, in like a, a conclusion with what we just did. We made this unit circle. And we're you're going to be using this throughout trigonometry and out without uh, throughout calculus, and these are just kind of the important characteristics of this whole thing. And I'm hoping that this helped. I would watch this video again and go through these, you know, the kind of the nice techniques. Remember, this quadrant here is really the main focus of getting the rest of these. And I'm hoping that this worked. And I will see you on the next video.